Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. It's Live Mix Wednesday. If you've never joined us on a live mix on a, for a live mix on a Wednesday, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to mix a glitter here in the warehouse. Um, this glitter is up and available on the website. It is iwantglitter.com. Uh, we have two coupon codes available right now. There's two. You can only use one at a time per order. You can either use glitter now, which is the one you see on your screen right next to our website here. And that will give you 8% off your entire order. But the one that's the most frequent on Wednesdays is the L-L-R-B-O-G-O. L-L-R-B-O-G-O in all caps in one word. And that is going to be a buy one, get one free glitter. That way, if you buy two of today's live mixes, you're going to get one free using that coupon code. It's good for one free glitter off of your order. And it's a buy one, get one free glitter. So you have to have at least two glitters in your shopping cart. The only thing that these coupon codes won't work for are um, swag bags and our glitter subscription. Okay, so... If you want to sign up for a swag bag or a glitter subscription, you got to do that on a separate order um, because you cannot use a coupon code when one of those are in your shopping cart. The system like melts down and it can't. It's like, no, thank you. Um, so you got to order those on a separate one. Hello, Eileen. Hi, Bonnie. Hello, everybody. Oh, my heart, tumblers. Hello, hello. Um, so today's live mix is up. It is it's, uh, number 109. Uh, if you've never joined us, what the live mix is, it's I mix a batch of glitter on the live with you guys. Um, this is going to be a custom created glitter and this is all we're going to create. We're going to make this batch and when this batch sells out, it goes away for good. So like if you go on our website, you can't find live mix one, two, three, four, five up until then. Cause when they sell out, they cease to exist. Um, we do not remix them. So these are kind of like couture glitters. Um, and I custom create and blend these here at the warehouse. Um, there are some other things up on the website. If you buy five of the live mix number 109 today, you can add the free test that sorry, the free water slide to your order. It says witches brew and it, you can see it, the listing under today's deals has a big description. It says free with purchase of five live mix 109s. Read the descriptions, witches brew, clear water slide. That is what you're going to see under today's deals. And it says zero dollars. That is only available. If you buy five of today's live mixes, you can add that to your cart. If you add it to your cart without having a five live mix 109s, it will not ship to you. Um, the girls try to write a little note that say, unfortunately, you didn't qualify, so it didn't order. I'm um, shipped to you. Now, that same uh, water slide is available at, to purchase as an instant transfer. It says Witch's Brew and has the cute little Witch's Broom and a little black cat and little stars and bats on it. Okay. This is limited this is because it's a seasonal. This is limited quantity and it is an instant transfer. Okay, so the instant transfer is up on the website. We also have some things up on the website that were previously in bundles or something. Oh, you went black. Shoot, let me try going out. All right, is it still black? Sorry, I don't know what just happened. Sometimes it just blinks and it doesn't know what to do. Am I back? Hello, give me a wave if you can see me. Sometimes the screen just blinks out. Hello, hello. Okay, Facebook says I'm back. All right, so you can get the Witches Brew. This is the instant transfer. It's a new instant transfer for today. It's up on the website. Again, it is limited quantity. So if you're grabbing this, know that it, this will sell out. Um, it will not restock. It's going to be kind of like the live mix. Um, any of these holiday instant transfers, they they are one shot deal. So when we sell out, the new new ones and fresh ones are coming constantly. Um, so this one is up there, and this is your instant transfer, which is brew. The one that's free is a water slide. It's the same pattern, and it's a water slide, and you get a free one of those for um, when you buy five of the live mixes. For every five live mixes that you order, you can add one of those free water slides for uh, the Witches Brew water slides, all right? This is all listed under today's deals. There's a ton of new stuff on today's deals. There's also some new items um, available on the website that were previously in bundles or things that have never been individually on the website that are up now. Um, the butterfly poster set. So it comes with, uh, I think there's four in there. Four, four, yes, four, four of these butterflies. And it comes with the, but the, the holder. So you can make the base and then the four coast, four butterfly coasters and they sit in there, okay? So this is available up on the website right now. The little tray, the little makeup tray, this holds lipsticks and things, but we use it. I have one in my office and it holds my um, 
silicone brushes and my little alcohol inks fit in here. Um, and this can hold like toothpicks or things and little, little goodies down here, but it makes a little makeup tray. It's a makeup tray, makeup dish, makeup thing, but I use it for craft supplies. Um, that is up individually up on the website. Uh, this cutie, cactus cutie, there's a little cactus. Uh, these sold out very like gangbusters because they make cute little mag refrigerator magnets. You can also use them to make little keychain goodies, but they're little succulents and cactus planter. Um, the Rock Geode. We have had this for a while, but it's always been available only in a bundle. It, bundle. it is now available as an individual mold. And I know this is the smallest, but it's also my favorite. The little tiny silicone mixing jar is literally the exact. It's like the same shape as a regular one of our medicine mixing cups and it's two dollars and it's a little silicone reusable one the easiest way to reuse these don't try to wash the wet epoxy out of there take it put it upside down on the silicone mat the next day most of that will have dripped down you take it and you go crack 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 squeeze it and that just pulls out okay super easy to reuse these so there you go all right so those are all the things that are up on the website new today don't forget if you order five of today's live mix number 109, you can add the free test water slide. Matthew Earl, I was just thinking about you the other day. We haven't seen you in forever. Um, the 109, if you order five of live mix 109s, you can uh, add the free test, the, sorry, you can always add a free test water slide, but there's also a free water slide available today. It's the Witch's Brew water slide. You can add one for every five live mixes that you order. And the Witch's Brew is also available as an instant transfer to purchase, all right? Here we go. Are you ready, guys? Okay, so we're going Halloween-y, spooky, fall color. It's got five elements to it. We're going with like a deep purpley blue. It's going to have some holographics in it. It's going to have some opalescence in it. It's going to have some metallics in it. It is going to be a fine glitter. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm reading comments. It's going to be a fine glitter. I know you guys love your fines. Um, we are going to be making a witch's brew cauldron with it. I've already got the tumbler prepped. Um, we're also going to be doing a peekaboo with it um, that we had sweet tumbler that we started a while ago and we just haven't come back to. I'm like, oh, this glitter is going to be the perfect top color that I want. Um, so we're going to do a witch's brew cauldron. We're going to start the witch's brew cauldron. That's why I designed this because this is going to go with my cauldron, right? And then so we're making the cauldron, starting the cauldron today. And then we're also going to be doing a peekaboo with this glitter so that you can see in action. All right. So, um, Live mix number 109 is what we are working with. And I will already tell you, we're already down to 234 bags of this. You guys love your purples. Um, we're already down to 234 bags. And we just started this live seven minutes ago. So um, here we go. So if you never joined us, what we're now going to do is I'm going to put all the glitter in this bin. And I'm going to talk to you guys of what my process is and kind of how we're going through it. And we're going to mix it. And you guys are going to see the finished product. Then I'm going to take a scoop of it and we're going to move into the studio and where we're going to actually use the, this glitter in action so you guys can see it and see it being worked with so you can kind of decide how many bags of this you want, all right? Um, the hurricane's driving you crazy. Stay safe, girl. The Mini Mix Sweet Seasons is back. It is not really back. There's only... Huh? Uh, yeah, there's less than eight. There's four. So the mini, the mini mix is there, but there's only four. That's why I didn't say it. So I was going to say, you're going to see it. It's going to be gone. So the sweet seasons, there's currently four. Um, here we go. Hello. All right. So again, this is going to be like a dark blue purple, but it's going to be different than anything we've done because this one's going to have holographic opalescent. Sorry, this has got fantasy holographic and metallic all mixed into this one. So it is going to be a dark blue, kind of, it's like a dark blue purple base. Okay. Okay. That's going to be our first base. Okay. So this is a very high flash so you can see super sparkly super high flash very pretty blue like door deep 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 navy blue okay metallic this is going to be your metallic okay let's go in with our black holographic all right so next is going to be our black holographic these are all fine cuts all right this is going to be a black holographic this is going to be very similar to Vader. 
it's a slightly darker cut. I mean, sorry, it's a slightly larger cut than Vader. It's still a fine glitter, but it's going to be a little bit. Then Vader, you're going to get a lot more of that holographic punch in there. Okay. Now we're going to go, let's go with our fantasy purple. Now we're going to do about two kilos of the fantasy purple. Now, if you guys know this fantasy purple, the reason it's the fantasy is because it has that electric, like neon purple offshoot to it. So if you were to put this on a black base, it's going to offshoot some like shocking purple color. So this is just a big, beautiful, super high, high flash. You can see that flash flash. Okay. And this is the more lighter purple, but this is the one that's going to have that absolute electric neon purple that comes off of it when you put it on a tumbler. All right, next up is going to be a holographic dark blue. Okay, so we're adding more holographics. This is going to be a fine cut, another fine cut. Okay, this is a very, very very powdery cut, holographic blue, dark blue jeans, blue, super fine, super soft, very easy to work with on your tumblers. If you're just joining us, this is live mix number 109. It's available at iwantglitter.com. You're going to click on today's deals. You're going to see it right at the top. Next to it, you're going to see a listing that says with purchase of five live mix 109s. That is a free water slide. If you order five of today's live mixes, you can add that water slide for free. We also have a separate listing. It's called Pick Your Transfer Witches Brew. It's the same image that's available as an as a instant transfer, as available as a uh, sublimation, or as a water slide to purchase. Okay, now this is going to be our dark purple. Okay. So we've got the lighter purple. That is going to be, that, that was our fantasy. And then this is going to be our super deep, deep, rich purple. Okay, very high flash. Our metallics are extremely sparkly. Okay. So this is going to be your five elements to this glitter. All right, we're down to 200 live mixes available. And just FYI, just the Let's Go Girl Rhinestone Half Pearl mini set, the half, uh, sorry, the rhinestones and half pearls are down to 14 sets. I know that's one of you guys' absolute favorites. It's one of my favorites. It's like the country girl colors. Um, it is down to 14 available sets on the website. Okay. Ooh, you guys. You guys are buying these. There's only 37 of these little mini cups now. And the Sweet Seasons is officially sold out. All right. Okay. So if you've never joined us for a live mix on a Wednesday, we are in the warehouse. You kind of hear some background noise. The girls are packing orders and getting stuff ready for y'all. Um, we take the glitter, we mix it. This is a glitter that I created um, and we pull the elements together and I mix it on camera with you all. And this is the only batch of this particular glitter we will make. This is Live Mix 109. We don't write down these recipes. Um, we just, I mix it, we, it goes up on the website and it's available. It's like a couture glitter. It doesn't even get a name. That's why we give them numbers because they sell out so quickly um, that they don't, they are not part of our regular stock of open stock glitters. We have hundreds and hundreds of glitter colors on the website. This one is a limited edition. So this is live mix number 109. And when it sells out, it's gone for good. If you've never joined us on a Wednesday, um, the website is iwantglitter.com. We have two coupon codes, glitter now. Glitter now is going to give you 8% off your whole order or L-L-R-B-O-G-O. -O. Generally on Wednesdays, L-L-R-B-O-G-O -O is your better coupon code because it gives you one free glitter. So if you order two of today's live mixes, it's going to give you one of them free. It is only good for one free glitter. And you cannot use two coupon codes on an order. You can only use one or the other. If you put both coupon codes into the system, it's just going to select whichever one makes you saves you guys the most money. So you can try putting them both in um, if you're not sure which one is going to be a better option for you. Which one, if you don't know the math or don't like me and too lazy to do that, it will do the math for you and it picks the one that saves you the most money. Um, so Glitter Now is on the, on the screen right here. Um, and then L-L-R-B-O-G-O is the other one. Also, with every single order that you place with us at Little Ian Rose, you can add a free test water slide. So type in the word free on the search bar. Free water slide is going to pop up. You're going to click that, the free test water slide. 
you can add that to every single order you ever place with us today. Also, if you order five of these live mixes, you can add the free water slide that says Witches Brew. Um, when you see it, it's good. you're going to see it. It says free water slide with purchase, blah, blah, blah. All right. So those are, there's two freebies for, for today. I know, Pamela. You're going to be placing, you got to just place an order yesterday. You're going to get in there today. I, well, y'all, we, it's a purple, so I get it. Um, so if you've never joined us, I'm now going to mix this and then I'm going to take a batch of it and we're going to go in the studio and we're going to actually work on t tumblers and work on projects. I'm going to be making and starting a witch's brew cauldron. All right. So, and we have another um, peekaboo that we're going to do. So here we go. All right. So now we're going to mix it up for y'all. This is the fun part. Yes. Look at this. These color combinations. I feel like that um, fantasy in the back. That fantasy purple is going to be like the killer part. This lighter purple that's going to be mixed in there. So this is going to, because there's so many different tones to this, it's going to be a very dimensional glitter. When we put it on the tumbler and we actually get it laid out on that tumbler, you're really going to see all the tones of this come through. It's going to be beautiful because it's going to have that fantasy in it and it's also going to have that holographic in it. Fine glitters are a little bit harder to mix up because they get stuck down in the corners. What? This is one of those where you're like, is it a blue or is it a purple? It's almost impossible to pick one or the other. It's going to be so hard to say if this is blue or if this is purple, because you look at it one way and it's very purple. And then you kind of like look at it from another angle and it's very blue. So this is like a deep, deep, this would be gorgeous with um, like Bronx or any of our bronze copper colored glitters. This would be a good combination. This would be a really pretty fall tumbler combination for that too. I'm going to be mixing it with Kingston, which is a neon orange. I'm also going to be just using it as it is. We're going to play with the neon orange. You're going to see it's going to be kind of a fun way that we use the neon orange today, which is going to be Kingston. All right. All right. There we go. There she is. Now let me get my portion. I scoop a little out. Um, I, I, di I did, but it, I, it was cutting out. I was trying to get about two kilos each, but I'm going to tell you the total. It says 11.55, and that's with the weight of the bucket in it. All right. You had a you had a color that was blurple. We're calling this color blurples. That's fantastic. Okay, here we go. All right, so now we're going to take this little portion that I just mixed for myself. Wait, I got that. Got that. And now we're going to head into the studio. Here we go. All right, if you've never had the little mini warehouse tour, here we go. This is all the swag bag aisle stuff. Swag station. And we start hitting all of our supplies. This is we're going into our mold and supply and tools aisle. Okay, then we come in here. This is bundles and more molds. We have hundreds and hundreds of molds. And then we hit our glitter aisle. These are our glitter, all of our open stock glitters, 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 glitters. More glitters, 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 glitters. And now the glitter wall of my big. This is my favorite part of this whole warehouse. It's so pretty. It's all of our big old jugs of glitter. All right, now we're going to go out into the swelter. We're basically stepping right into through the gates of Hades. Out here, it's so freaking hot. Okay. This is my little ranch. Some, the horses have been out here. Oh, they're way up at the top over by the house. Oh, my husband's probably giving them treats up there. The horses are down in the front pasture today. 
we've got, we had a little sprinkle of rain the other day, so our grass popped up and got green, so we threw them down here so they could enjoy grazing. It's been so hot, there's, they've been on hay only, because there's no graze. They're enjoying grazing today, but they're all at the top. Can't see them today. We're now pretty sure we have two pregnant horses. Um, we rescued two mares and a little stallion. The stallion, they weren't from the same place. The little stallion is a little mini pony. But when we rescued them, they said that uh, the one mare, they were they suspected she might be pregnant. And now we've had them for a few months, and we're pretty sure the other one is pregnant now. So they go on next Friday to get their little ultrasounds. Confirm. Confirmation. All right, here we go. Uh, Nelly, I cannot do that. I cannot do that because those instant transfers are going to sell out before this live is done. And I, that, that is a whole different ball of wax, having to re, um, remove it from inventory and all that. And I don't have my computer. All right. Sorry, Nelly. You know, if I could, I would, but I can't while I'm live. Not with something like that. It's not, especially with something that sells out that fast. Um, I, cause I would have to remove it from the inventory at the same time. No worries. And I'm not going to be able to do that. We would oversell them. Okay. Now, a little organized. So here is your color. I should, oh, I should have done it outside when the sun was sparkling on it so you can get the, um, the uh, what's it called? So you could see the uh, holographics. Sometimes, um, actually, when I get it on the cup, When I get it on the cup, you'll probably be able to see the holographics better. Okay. So I'm also going to make a straw topper because it's going to go my witch's brew. I've got these. So we put these up on the website. We have 50 of these available, you guys. They are 12 inch um, uh, wine tumblers. To me, they're like mugless, handleless mugs. It would melt the glitter. I know, it's so miserable here. Um, so these are up on, we have 50, well, now we have 40 of these available on the website, y'all. So if you want to grab one so you can make a witch's brew little cauldron with me, um, you can grab some up on the website. So we, we got these in specifically for today. They are sublimation ready. So if you're like, I just like that cup and it's sublimation ready, so you could put a sublimation print on it, you can do that too. We just decided to go with sublimation so you guys could multi-use them if you wanted. Um, but this, I got it spray painted in just super purple, Rust-Oleum purple, and we are going to be putting this guy and Kingston on there. Now I chose Kingston because I want you guys to see what Kingston does on that dark base. It's going to be really awesome. But I'm also going to make, this is the straw topper. This is the skull straw topper. It's a ring of skulls. And I'm like, oh, that's going to look real good because we're going to be making the cauldron. And then this, I can make it to be the, the little topper for our tumbler topper or for any of my other spooky Halloween because so I've got the, the sleep hex repeat, eat sleep hex repeat one that this would be super cute on there. So we're going to be mixing live mix into here and making the skull straw topper. Okay. So that's going to be project number one. There's a project number three at the end. We also have this tumbler. This is the one where we took, um, I believe it was Curtis might've been steel. can't remember which we used as a base Curtis or steel, put it on the base with, um, we, um, Pamela Porter, I will write that down. I'll write down Pam. I don't know if I have anything, but I will put it down. I wrote it on my little notepad. That doesn't, I, that's not a promise, but I will try. Jessica goes, I went in order to miss the whole live. Um, Jessica, live mix. And then if you order today, five of today's live mixes, you can add the Witch's Brew um, water slide for free. You can also add your free test water slide. Don't forget your coupon codes, Glitter Now for 8% off the entire order or L-L-R-B-O-G-O in all caps, one word to get buy one, get one free glitter. You can only use one coupon code. 
and the buy one get one free glitters for one free glitter off your order. Um, and then also there's new molds and the little mixing cup and the Witch's Brew Instant Transfer. So the Witch's Brew Instant Transfer is available as well. Okay, so the other one is this tumbler. This is one we put down Curtis, and then we put alcohol inks in, and then we used um, plain alcohol ink and dabbed it on there. You can also use blending solution, and it kind of spreads the alcohol ink and does this. Now, this is pretty, but this is not the finished product. This was meant to be the background for a peekaboo. So now we have, I'm gonna be doing these beautiful sparrows on the tumbler and then doing today's live mix over the top. Okay. And we're going to do a peekaboo. Okay. So that's going to be the second project. First project though, we're going to get in and we're going to ombre today's live mix and Kingston. You should use the little handle that come on a, a real cauldron, a real cauldron that would weigh like 80 pounds. They're cast iron. So do you need one from like Dollar Tree? I'm going to make them out of clay. I'm going to make them out of clay. Peekaboos are fun. They're very satisfying to peel it up. Um, all right, let me get a piece of parchment paper. Uh, we might need a, that parchment paper is good. Got too much stuff stuck to it. Okay, so we are going to do a ombre with these two. This is today's live mix. It is. A, it has two different holographics. It's got a black holographic and a blue holographic. Then it's got a purple opalescent, which the, that has the fantasy in it, and it has metallics of purples and blues. So it is, it is one of those glitters where it's like, is it blue? Is it purple? Can't really decide. Yes, wrap the clay. Well, the clay doesn't have to be super strong because it's going to be under epoxy. It's going to be up against it, but yeah. It's not, they're not going to be like functional handles. I'm not going to make my handles functional. You had to pull over so you can shop. You're so funny, Mary. Um, all right. We're already down to 145 live mixes left. All right. So for this one, you can apply, if you are new to glitter tumblers, there's multiple ways that you can put glitter onto a tumbler. One way, it's not very reliable, but if you're very, very fast, you can spray paint your tumbler and then quickly dump your paint, your glitter on it. And it will, it will grab onto that wet paint and that paint will dry with the glitter on it. Not what I would really recommend. People show that off, that technique off. But I'm like, if you are even like a hair too slow, your paint will dry in patches. And if some areas are thinner than others, it's going to dry there. You're not going to get good coverage of your glitter, not, not consistent coverage of your glitter, but people do it. You can take epoxy and mix a little bit of acrylic paint into it for the base color and put a thin layer, a hang method layer or thin layer on your tumbler and pour it on there. So if you don't want to base paint your colors or if you live somewhere where it rains all the time and you can't spray paint outside, that's, what, that's a good option because you can add a little bit of color to your epoxy um, and that way it's already like the base color of your tumbler. Um, the other way is spray adhesive. Um, you can spray a spray adhesive. You want to use a repositionable tack um, all over your tumbler. You can, that's going to be stuff like Loctite, Elmer spray glue. Krylon has one. Gorilla glue has one. I don't recommend Gorilla glue. I don't really like it. It's really gummy and goopy. People use it though. Um, so any spray adhesive. And then you can also do a thin layer of hang method over a spray painted base and apply your glitter. Um, some people also mix the glitter into epoxy and drizzle it or paint it onto the cup. I feel like you waste a lot of product that way because you use more glitter than you normally would. And you also use a layer of epoxy that's not smoothing out. Like you still have to put epoxy over it to get it smooth. It's almost like a waste of like 20 grams of epoxy, but people do it. Um, should we call it dead mix? Show you the glitter plate. Well, Mary, you're about to see me do it because I'm going to put it on this cup. It is a fine glitter and it's, it's like a blue purple, a purple blue black. It is between purple and blue, but this one has the um, uh, fantasy purple in it. That's a light purple actually. And so when it, we put it on the dark base, it's gonna pop, 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 pop. All right, so I am gonna do the spray adhesive today. Now I'm working with Cry um, Krylon um, spray adhesive. 
the difference between there's Krylon Easy Tech and there's Krylon Spray Adhesive. The Krylon um, Easy Tech is the repositionable spray tech. So if you are new to putting uh, glitter on your tumbler uh, with spray adhesive, the Easy Tech is going to be the one that you want to go with because it's repositionable, which means it stays sticky longer. It stays gooby, um, goopy and grabbable, glitter grabby um, better. I feel like somebody, there's a, there's a comment repeating over and over. It's, it's throwing me off. Um, so it's, um, it stays um, sticky longer. So you have more work time. The spray adhesive, it's a permanent bond, which I, that's what I prefer um, because I am fast at this. And because uh, the permanent bond, uh, brain part, has a stronger grip. And so I feel like I get less travel in my glitter when you're applying it. So what you're going to want to do, I'm going to do spray adhesive. And we are going to ombre. Oop, Kingston, which is the neon green. It's not going to really look neon green on this tumbler, but that's what we're kind of going for. You'll see what I mean when it goes on there and the live mix number 109. Now Kingston is a translucent glitter. So that's why I say when I say it's gonna go on there, it's not gonna look this lime green once it gets on this tumbler because we're putting it on this dark purple base. So it's going to actually transform a little bit because it's gonna take on the purple properties behind it. But what it's gonna do is also going to color shift a little bit. Um, it's almost gonna look chameleon-y, all right? So that's what I'm shooting for here, okay, with this guy. So we're gonna be using Kingston on the top and live mix on the bottom. I I don't want these to necessarily ombre perfectly. My goal is not, if I wanted them to ombre perfectly and be the beautiful blend in the middle, I would use my ombre glitter sugar. I almost want this to look like toxic ooze coming out and kind of coming out. I want them to be kind of separated. Um, I do want them ombre, but I don't want that perfect, like subtle ombre. I want it to be like green, purple. I don't want a line, but I want them to be, I want it to be, I want it to be ombre, but I don't want them to be super ombre. Does that make sense? So that's why we're going to do it by hand. Um, it, it's a little bit more defined from each other that way. Okay. So I'm going to spray this really quick. I'm going to spray this really, really quick in my spray box. Oh, we need two. I need two. Okay, I need two parchments ready. So I gotta be ready because I gotta do that and move quick. A more defined ombre, yeah. Okay. quite a few coats on nice and thick okay so now I'm gonna do the green first and I'm gonna tap it on and I'm just gonna let it shimmy down the cup so like I said I'm not going for the perfect ombre I'm going for a little loosey goosey. Okay, shake it off over off the table. Okay, and now we're gonna go in with live mix. And that's gonna go the opposite way. Okay. Make sure it's cover that bottom edge. Shake it off. I'm shaking it off the side of the table, not over my glitter, because I don't want to, there is green on there now, and I don't want that contaminating into my other glitter. So that's why I will waste a little bit, like a sprinkle of it off the side, but I don't, that's better than contaminating my whole jar of Live Mix 109. So you can catch it if you, like I do this stuff, everything I do is to be quickly on camera with you guys. If I was doing this at home and I wanted to save every little bit, I would probably shimmy it over another piece of parchment paper and save it for like, if I ever ombre those two glitter colors again, I can save it, but. Uh, 
sorry when so here we go this is exactly what i wanted so you can see where it's like ombre but it's not perfect it's not meant to be perfect this is exactly what i wanted it kind of like the green ooze coming over the top and then we're going to do the drips coming down it too so this is going to be the state first steps this is intentional like i said if we use the ombre glitter shaker we can get that beautiful perfect blend ombre but that's not what i wanted i wanted it kind of haphazardly going down the tumbler okay so let's see we can change this angle and show you guys so we can get some of the holographics in there now you can burnish this down it's a fine glitter i prefer um glitter i don't i i prefer um this type of i don't know how to call it unburnished i prefer loose instead as opposed to burnished so burnished would be when you flatten that glitter down it almost gets like a sheen to it more like a chrome finish as opposed to like a sparkly finish. It's gonna be personal preference. I like this, so I'm gonna stick with this. This is more of like an individual glitter sparkle. And then you see how Kingston is lime green, but it takes it's darker than what it is here because it takes on the properties of that purple behind it. And you're actually getting, see how there's like gold flecks in it? You're getting more of the gold flecky flecks coming off of it here because of that dark base behind it. If I was to burnish the de this down, well, now I feel like I should burnish it to show you guys. If I was to burnish this down, that would be even more intense. <sighs> okay, we're gonna burnish just so, just so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So when you burnish, I'm gonna start in one section like this. So see how the spark, see how it changes to a sheen. Now I'm using that permanent um, spray adhesive, so I've gotta go very quick. So I'm gonna try to explain what I'm doing uh, but also go quick. So now I'm going to go into this middle part and you want to do section by section because I don't want to trans, I don't want to contaminate the area. So I'm going the green, the all green first, and then I'm going to this middle part that's burnished. I mean, ombre, then I'm going to go down to the part that's all purple. So what I'm doing with my fingers, a, I'm using firm pressure and a circular motion, and I'm just rubbing down onto that spray adhesive and it's basically knocking off any extra glitter and flattening down the other glitter that's there. Okay. This is called burnishing. You can use a pool noodle for this and just kind of massage a pool noodle over it. Some people don't like the way this feels on their hand. I've done it so many times. I don't even notice. I don't think about it. Okay. Then glitter duster brush and dust off this extra. Okay. Then you can go back you'll be able to see if you missed a spot you can go back in okay so the glitter duster brush just gently knocks off anything that was not laid down and it was just kind of sitting on the cup but see the difference to how this is more of like a glare and a sheen as opposed to like the individual sparkles i this is not my preference it is beautiful i'm not saying it's not pretty it just looks different but see how this now is like more green gold and it's more like a chameleon that is Kingston on a dark base. So you can put on a black base, a dark blue base, a dark purple base, a dark, dark green base, and it's gonna pull that chameleon effect out of there. Yeah. Yeah, Gina, I'm so, that, and that's, yeah, the, you love the pool noodles. So again, it's per, gonna be personal preference on whether you like this sheeny, like chrome type finish, um, or yeah, that makes you think of the mirror micas, yes, as opposed to like the sparkle. So. If you try it at home and you're like, oh, I liked it the other way, you can always put a second coat of glitter on here. So you're like, oh, well, that was a mistake. I liked it the other way. Just put more spray adhesive on it, put more glitter down. Let's be honest. I'm going to be real nice to Diane. She's always like, oh my God, there's so much glitter on the ground. I'm going to collect this glitter and then throw it away. First. Now, if you have we actually sell glitter bags on the website. I don't know if you know this. We sell spare glitter bags. They might not be up right now because we've been going through a lot of glitter bags with all these rhinestones that we've been doing and we're worried that our next round won't be coming in. But you can save this glitter in like a little jar, like a little little test tube jar or a little glitter bag and put Kingston and Live Mix 109 so that you, way you know what that blend is. So if you ever go to do an ombre, you can use that for your ombre. You're gonna go make dinner early. Kids are making you crazy. Kids do make us crazy. Good thing I'm having another one. 
We got fingers and toes, by the way, you guys. I went and had an ultrasound because I'm old and I'm on a seizure medication. I have to be um, monitored by a specialist. So we saw baby's little fingers and toes today and a little nose, a little nose, her little big old head in her nose. We also found out that my placenta is not in a great place. So it's gonna be monitored, but don't worry. Okay, now, do you guys want to see me do a second coat just so you know what I'm talking about? Is Kingston part of the neon bundle? Uh, no, Kingston is not part of the neon bundle. He's his own. He's his own. The baby brights. He's not part of the, but no, I don't, I, I don't know which neon bundle you're talking about. Are you talking about baby brights? Okay. Yeah, he's not part of the... You became a grandpa yesterday? Oh, Matthew, you old man. The spray... I use Krylon spray adhesive. The other one that's Krylon is Easy Tack. Easy Tack stays um, squishy longer, tacky longer. Spray adhesive is a permanent bond, so it dries faster. That's why I had to move. Like I was like, oh, we're gonna burnish. I gotta burnish fast because we decided to burnish. All right, so I'm gonna do a second layer on here so you guys can see what a second coat over the top looks like. I mean, it's basically like the first coat, but I, sometimes it's good to, it's like a good visual to watch. So this is what a burnished sheen looks like. And now we're gonna do the second coat. Going in with the green. Green with this one. Green, same thing. Just holding the cup at a little slight angle, not not completely vertical, not completely horizontal, like half and half, and just tip 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 tap, gentle tapping, and rotating it around, letting it fall. Okay. Okay, perfect. Cup number one. I mean, layer number one. Shimmy it off, off the table, off the side, and for the butt, and number two. Now this is the live mix, this beautiful blue purple that we're using for the cauldron. These wine tumblers, we have them on the website today. We got them in just for this because we figured when you guys see it, you might want to try making one, okay. Shimmy, shimmy. I'm going to shake it off, off the side. And there we go. So now this is the difference in the sparks. So see, this one has more like individual sparkles. Okay. That's the difference between burnishing and non-burnishing. Blurple. Everyone says this color is blurple because it's kind of like the Mona Lisa blue purple. You can't tell if it's blue or purple. It's kind of because it's a mix of blues and purples. So your brain kind of wants to go, well, that's a dark blue. But then me, I'm like, oh, no, that's definitely purple. Yeah. So, again, it's going to be a personal preference on how you like it. Some people like every time they're like, I like it burnished. I love how high flash that is. Um, and some people like it this. I like this. It's going to be a personal preference. You can actually even have examples for customers like pre-done with your glitters and have like little tabs and have a, half of it be burnished and half of it not. And then they could pick what type of um, sheen they like, whether they like the glitter, individual glitter sparkles, glitter sparkles. Okay. So remember, this is going to now we'll let this dry. We'll put over a couple coats of clear glossy spray paint over the top, and then we're going to get a nice smooth surface on here. Then we'll do the like toxic drip down the side and we're going to add the witch's brew on there and we'll add some cauldron handles and stuff. But this is step one for our cauldron. Okay. It's going to be a little Halloween. Whoop. Halloween cup. All right. So that is tumbler numero one and that is live mix 109. Okay. So that will 
now. Just chill out. Let that um, spray piece of get good and firm. Okay, now we're going to go in. So if anyone's joining us today is live mix day. Hi, everybody. You're going to, Tam's like, I got, you twisted my arm. I got the live mixes and some tumblers and I'm going to regret it. But if you only live once, right? That's what I said about having another baby. <laughs> that was the same argument. Like, I'm not getting any younger. If we're going to do it, we might as well do it. All right. There's only 30 of those wine tumblers left, by the way. Um, and there's only 60 of the instant transfers left for the witch's brew. There's only 27 of the little mini cups left. Where's live mix? Oh, there's 120 live mixes left. For, so for uh, live mix 106 and 107, the ones that we did the plaid, Live Mix 107 only has 32 left, and Live Mix 106 only has 11 left. Hi, Chandra. Sorry, I'm trying to give you a few little updates there. Um, so that's what we got. There's other new stuff on the website today. There's new molds. These little mini cups are two bucks for these silicone cups. And I was saying, if you um, use these medicine cups to mix, they're very easy to clean. That's the biggest question we get. How do you clean all your silicone, reusable silicone stuff? Don't try to wipe it out when it's wet. Just take it, put it upside down on a silicone mat. The next day, come and just crack. Most of it will drip down and have gone onto the mat and dried and you peel it off. But the little tendrils, you just crack, 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 and then just go, it usually, you just pull it and it all comes out together in one. There might be a few little things in there. And then I take a scrubber and scrubby pad and it cleans out real easy. So these, you just basically squeeze it and the epoxy pops off the, the, off the sides and you pull it out. Um, so these little guys, these are two bucks. There's only 27 of them left. Um, the the um, coasters, there's four butterfly coasters and a um, the coaster holder. Okay, this is available up on the website. The geode to make little rock geodes are, is up on the website. Witch's Brew, this is the instant transfer that I was talking about. This is the new one for today. It says Witch's Brew. It's for your little cauldron tumblers. It's got little brooms and spider webs and black cat and all the cuties on there. That's the one that there's only 60 of these left. That will not restock, by the way. It's a, it's a, it's a holiday one. And then you got the mold with the little cactus and succulents on it. These make really cute little magnets. This would be a really cute little gift for like office mates or like little stocking, stocking stuffers or things for family. Um, because these make really, really cute little maggots and they're ma maggots, magnets, little refrigerator magnets. And you can, you can use mica, burnished mica into there and then pour epoxy. So cute. And then we have the makeup tray. Okay. This makes a little makeup tray. We have it with it holds six alcohol ink bottles. It will hold your DIY pens or like, you know how I say when you cure your DIY pens, you want them to sit upright while it's, you want them to sit this way while it's drying. You can put it in there and it will dry. You can put it down in the top one and it will dry. So this, I use this for a little, my little craft thing. Okay. So, but it's made for makeup, but maggots are adorable. They're adorable. They're just the cutest. Everything, every, all babies are cute. So for the handles of the cauldron, I am going to make um, clay. I'm just going to roll little handles of clay, make a little ball, like a little ball, and then roll out little worms and then whoop, and make little, and then attach them on. Mine are not going to be like usable floppy handles. It's not going to be like an actual functioning handle. It's just going to be the look of the little handles. And I'll put them on before we do the drip. So I'll put them on and then we'll drip. And so it'll look like it's bubbling up over the handles and everything. <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, all right, so now we're gonna do a peekaboo with today's live mix. So let's get some of these sparrows and let's get them added. All right, so if you've never done a peekaboo, what you wanna do on your tumbler is get your base glitter on for this tumbler, we put down, we, we used hang method. So we applied a thin base of epoxy, very, very thin, like three grams of epoxy. We spread it extremely thin. It takes elbow grease and work in it all over the tumbler and got this tumbler covered with that about three grams of epoxy. So it's a super thin, thinner than a sheet of paper layer of epoxy. 
applied our glitter, white glitter, let it cure up. And you want that, you want to do it that way because it, um, one, the epoxy holds a lot more of the chunky glitter. It's the best way to do your chunky glitters. Then you pour your glitter on it, press it down nice and flat, right? Then let that cure up overnight. You want to do that when you're doing this alcohol drip method, because if you do this on spray adhesive, this um, dripping and using alcohol, because you're using so much alcohol, it's actually going to get into your, if you use spray adhesive, it's going to get into your spray adhesive and turn it back into like a gummy mess and kind of deteriorate the, the base. And this is going to become a goopy mess or move and all this glitter will go everywhere. If you do, when you apply it using the tiny bit of epoxy, what we call the hang method, then when it cures up, that glitter is firmly in place. That epoxy is hard. It's holding it. It's not going anywhere. Okay. Then we dripped on all of our, 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 uh, alcohol inks. I think I actually used epoxy dye on this one. Maybe epoxy. I, I can't remember. I think alcohol inks. And then we, and then you add blending solution or alcohol, plain alcohol to it. And it spreads it out and kind of, you can do this where it gets a little darker and a little lighter and a little darker and a little lighter and kind of get that look. Okay. Then we added two coats of epoxy over the top. Um, if you are covering this, if you're doing a double glitter peekaboo where the top layer is going to be what we are doing today, where the top is glitter, you do not have to have a perfectly smooth surface. Like if the edge is still a little bit rough up here or down here, you're going to be okay. If you're doing spray paint as your top layer instead of glitter, so if it's just a peekaboo, not a double glitter peekaboo, if you're doing spray paint as your top layer, this has got to be perfectly smooth because the spray paint is going to show every little rip, ripple and bump on that spray paint and there's no way to hide it. It's so you have to have a perfectly glass finish on all of the tumbler before you do that spray um, spray paint to do your peekaboo. Today we're using live mix, today's live mix 109 to do our peekaboo. So I don't I don't have to worry about this little edge. It's a little rough up here. Um, I don't have to worry about that because it's going to be hidden with the glitter. Okay. So it's obviously a lot easier to do a double glitter peekaboo than it is a regular peekaboo, like a paint peekaboo. All right, so we're gonna go in here. This little bird is, I need to pay attention. Okay, reading tweezers. Sorry, there's a little, little, little weeding issue there. All right, so we're gonna grab the birds. Let's grab one bird at a time. Grab a bird. Okay, we're gonna put them on the tumbler. Okay, so these are going to be what we remove at the end. Okay, so these these birds will not stay here. What we're going to do is spray paint over the top, spray adhesive over the top, burnish down our glitter, and then lift up the birds. And the birds, the glitter, our live mix will be on the top, and then the glitter that's behind these birds will be exposed and showing. So we'll have the shape of the birds showing through the live mix. I'm going to put a lot of them so I, cause I really like the way it looks with this background. And I want a lot of this, um, ink to show, I mean, yeah, the alcohol ink to show in the background. So this, all this that we're doing is going to get covered up and the only part that's going to be showing after this is going to be what's behind these birds. So that's why I'm kind of focusing on getting a little bit more than one color in each bird. I don't want to just put the bird right, right in the green. We only get the green. So you can see each bird is kind of overlapping on multiple colors. So she's going to look a little bit like tie dyed when she peeks through. And then what live mix 109 is going to go over the top of this. So I take the transfer sheet. I obviously use my transfer sheet over and over and over. And I will use it over and over until it stops being sticky.
Oops, I just took that bird's eyeball. Swallows, yeah, or sparrows. When I searched for them, I specifically searched sparrows, but they kind of look like swallows. We have so many swallows here. It's crazy. They try to build nests all over the front of our house. Chas, uh, Chastity, Chastity says, do you have any idea, any tips on how to get holographic vinyl to stay down? Mine always lifts up, even if it's permanent. Take UV resin and put it over the edges and cure it before you put epoxy on it. Cure it with a little bit of UV resin and make it stay, stay put it in, make it permanent by putting a little UV resin on it. That's what we do here. Like if, um, I have a perfect example. This tumbler, for example, has that opalescent holographic -y vinyl. All these little strips, we just took UV resin, a little drop, and just went vroom, and then cured it, and then went vroom, and then cured it all along this part because this doesn't, this wants to lift up under epoxy. So all this little stripping has a very thin coat of UV resin over the top, holds it in place, same as the name. We just went through, and you can't see it under the epoxy, it just disappears. And we just took UV resin and just basically traced the letters with UV resin and then cured it. You're very welcome. And because your UV resin is not FDA compliant, but because you're adding more epoxy to it, whoops, it doesn't matter. All right, I have these tiny little swallows, but because we're doing a double glitter peekaboo, those will just get lost. If we were doing a paint peekaboo, we could use these, but the double glitter peekaboo, those will just get lost. So we're not gonna use those. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy right here. Okay. And one more. Oh, T Tish says she uses clear nail polish. There you go. I use UV resin because it's instant and then I can just go right into epoxy. If it's clear nail polish, you got to let it cure and gas off. Larva Island. Are you talking about Larva Island? We love Larva Island in our house. All right, last sparrow. If you have not watched the Netflix Larva Island, I mean, it's a kid show, but it's so super funny. It's, it's definitely geared for parents being able to watch it with their kids. All right, so now we got those. Now I had those little ones, but like I said, we're not gonna use them because um, they won't, with the glitter, it's not gonna show. Okay, so this one, I am not gonna use my purple spray paint on this one. I'm gonna use, oh, what do I wanna use on this one? Go with dark blue on this one. We did dark purple on the other one, so I want to do something different on this one. Oh, I forgot to plug in my hot glue gun, y'all. Hold on. Farts. Should have been heating up while we were doing that. Okay, we need you need to do hot glue. With fine glitter, it's not as imperative that you do the hot glue. But chunky glitter, you have to do the hot glue, otherwise you're gonna have a headache trying to find that. Um underneath okay so you take this and you put a drop of hot glue on each bird and that way when you glitter it you can find all the birds by just finding the bumps
That's my favorite game. Where's the decals? Tap, 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 tap. Let's see where we're at. Oh, my system sucked refreshing. It does this. It's been doing this the last few days. It doesn't. It's not doing an update. It like says unable to process. Oh no! Hold on. Let me try going out and back in. All right, so we are working with Live Mix 109, if you've never done this with us. I also play the game, where's my tools? Oh, here, I'll show you my tools. Well, I gotta zoom it so you can't see um, my name and all the things. There's the little logo. She tried to get one that was with her little legs in it, but she was moving a lot. She's very, ex she does a lot of exercise. There's a little baby daddy, her little feet. She had a little hand player face. I have a 12-minute video as well, but I'm not going to subject you to that also because I'll subject you a little bit. I'll take you to the part where her little arms and legs were just a kick in a way. It's a very long video. I hope she'll show me her little leggers. Hold on. She was switching to give me like a little view of her little legs to kind of end like this. The fanny, she's so cute. But I'm a geriatric pregnancy, so I'm considered high risk. When you're an old lady and you're pregnant at the same time, they're just like, well, we're going to have to keep an eye on you, old lady. But if if you're a boy and this is too much, sorry. Um, you need a bird on the butt. I don't, oh, I don't have any more birds. I don't want to put a little one because it won't show right. It'll just look like a blob. Do you feel her moving around? It? Oh, no, she's still tiny. She's only like this big. <laughs> I'm 43, Jane. Will Betty look like the girls? I don't know. We're going to find out. She's a big ham. I'm actually getting motion sickness from doing this. Nausea is fun. Sorry. You got to really shake up your spray. Okay. Now, I'm going to spray paint this. And then we're going to come in and we're going to adhesive of this. Oh, you know what? Farts. I did this backwards. We were supposed to put on these, spray paint it, let that be drying, and then glitter that one and then come back to this one. Well, farts and tarts. Oh, I was I was geriatric with the triplets. Yeah, I was high risk and geriatric with the triplets too. Well, it's nothing new for me. But because I had the triplets, I'm at a high risk for preeclampsia. Great. And my, sorry, TMI if you're a boy. This might be a lot of words that you don't like, but my placenta is actually on top of my cervix. So they're saying at this point, unless that somehow decides to completely shift, I would have to do a cesarean section anyway. Because the baby wouldn't be able to get hurt. Because that's how my body rolls. And I could have told you that. Oh, I fell yesterday too. Like, like and when I fall, because I'm six feet tall, it's like watching a tree fall in the forest. I went down so hard. I'm okay. I kind of laugh. But... So now we got the dark blue base on and let that dry. I'll leave this glitter. Oh, I know. I was fine. I I just went flying on the patio. 
took a little nosedive onto the patio. But it literally felt like my hoof haul felt it was about to fly. Oh, I forgot the dress. We can do it now. Blob on each bird. Okay, don't worry about the spider webs. If you're a hawk glue gunner, you know what I'm talking about. I gotta be careful because these birds have so many details, I don't want to cover up the details. You can also take a photo of your item, of your tumbler, and then you can refer back to your photo of like where everything is on the photo versus what, what you've already picked off. That is helpful as well. So Live Mix 109 is what we're about to put on this tumble over the top of this. Um, it is this beautiful blue black. If you're just joining us, we've already mixed it. It's already done. And this is pretty purple blue it is a combination of a lot of blues and purples. We've got fantasy in there. That's where you're getting that electric purple kind of popping off of it. You've got the holographic. We have a, we've got a dark blue holographic and a black holographic in there. And then we've got blues and purples. Um, metallics to create this, but the fantasy in there is pretty spectacular on this one. Okay. I paired it with Kingston. I didn't want the perfect ombre that is intentional having it kind of look like this. I want it to kind of look like something is spilling up over the cup, like the, that's going to be like the, the witch's brew coming out of the top and I'm going to be doing drips over it and stuff, but I, I didn't want that perfect blend line. I just wanted it kind of I know, Chastity, it doesn't look so good. This is like the perfect Halloween color. Oh, I'm so nauseous now. For, for Pete's sake. All right, so now we're going to go in and we're going to spray spray adhesive. I need a part, my parchment paper. I put them together and then I stuck them. So I'm not ombreing this at all. This is going to be all live mix. Oh, should I ombre it? Nah, we're just going to go all live mix. All right, so we're going to spray adhesive this one. Technically, this should dry for like another like 20, 30 minutes, but we're going to rush it because I was supposed to start with this and get spray painted and then move on to the cauldron and then come back to this one. But I was so excited. I just started with that one. <laughs> I forgot that I had a plan. Whoops, the daisies. So we're gonna rush this one a little bit and just start it. Now I'm going to show you guys. It spurt this. I even I pre pre out the side just to make sure that doesn't happen, but it still happened. So it's going to be a blob right there. Okay, this is live mix. This is the live mix going on. Now I would burnish this. However, because of that spray paint not being completely dry, most likely if I was to try to burnish it right now, that spray paint is just gonna turn into, it's just gonna slide around and mess up. Ooh, piece of me that wants to try it though. Cause this one, I, I, I particularly want this to be more of the sheen. 
so that you can see the pattern the uh, yeah it's gonna do it yeah i can feel it it's the the spray paint is too wet i can't burnish this all right so that what i mean is that spray paint is not dried hard and if i was to go like this it's just gonna turn into mush the paint spray paint and the spray adhesive are gonna like congeal together and this is just gonna become a mess so if you want to burnish, make sure you just have that spray paint fully cured, like cured and dried. Not just like dry to the touch, but let it dry for like 12 hours or at least an hour, hour and a half, really. Let it like dry before you try to burnish. Okay. Now we're going to go back through with my weeding tweezers and we're going to find all the bumps. Okay. So this this is Live Mix 109. So for everybody who's just jumping in, this is Live Mix 109. Let's see this angle. This is the one that usually shows you guys the... It's got holographics. It's got fantasy. It is kind of a cross between like what's going to be like a bl dark blue or dark purple. And it's got a lot of holographics in it. It's going to be real pretty. We should go outside. We'll go outside once I get this um, these picked up we'll go outside and check it out okay so now i know where any of these little drops are is going to be where a vinyl is so i'm going to get my little weeding tweezers we're going to get under there we're going to lift them up And you're going to start seeing all those little details of the swallow come to life. Okay, get in here and very carefully. Go ahead. And the other wing. Lift and pull. Okay, and there's our first swallow. It's a little blurry, sorry. There's our first swallow. Okay, this would be a little bit more defined if we'd burnished it. But it's all right, we're moving. We're just gonna keep on plugging. Okay, get in there. I don't try to lift the whole decal at once. I try to get a piece going and then I can see, because right now I just know that this is where the decal is. I don't know which direction this bird is facing. I don't, I have no idea. So I just try to get a little piece of that vinyl lifted and then get it and go from there and, and then follow the path and be like, okay, that's obviously the wing or that's the head. And you kind of know which direction that vinyl is going to go. So I know that that's the tail. Okay, so I know that there's going to be a little bit more wing up this direction. Okay, and I could feel that there was a vinyl attached here. Get in there and pull it. Okay. And this, this is not a part that you want to rush. This is the slow and steady wins the race. Because you'd also want to avoid like scratching, scratching across the surface. Now, if you do, I, it's very common to scratch that surface as you're going. You can just take your thumb. I almost want to scratch it on purpose. Hang on just a second. Oh, I'll show you. You can either take, so what I would do, let's say I just went slip and I slipped across and I scraped this and you can now see a line. You don't want to tap, tap, tap that. Don't go and try to do anything with that. Because if you do, you're going to press the glitter right in that space flat, right? Just like you would if you were burnishing. 
when, if you are not burnishing on a, a tumbler like this, you cannot grab this tumbler. You cannot hold this tumbler anywhere with your leaf fingerprints where that, that glitter is going to press down onto that spray adhesive and go flat. So you will basically burnish your fingerprints down, but not anywhere else. You're going to see your fingerprints. Same as if you scratch across it and then you try to go in and like fix it. What you do if you get a scratch is take your finger, get glitter on your finger, dump it on that spot, and then gently just tap it into place and then knock it off, okay? Because there's going to still be stickiness where that you scratched across, right? So but don't go in there and try to fix it with your finger like that. Just get, scoop just a tiny pinch on your finger, drop it over the, and just barely press it, barely press it, the lightest of the lightest pressure, and then cover that scratch. And you want to do it right away. You don't want to let it don't go like, oh, I've got a bunch of scratches. Like if you scratch across and slide across while you're doing this, because it happens, take care of it immediately. Because if you wait to the end, your spray adhesive might be dry by then. Also, when you do a tumbler like this and you're doing a peekaboo, you want to do the peekaboos all at the same time and you want to do them right away. If you let your peekaboo sit, that spray adhesive and that spray paint is going to cure up and it's going to be, you can get this, you can get this de these decals off, but it makes it a lot harder. Okay. You see how pretty those birds are because they kind of look like watercolored birds. I have to put on that fisheye camera so you guys can see them in a little bit better decal, deep, deep detail. So you want to, if you're going to do your peekaboo, you want to do it all in one swoop. You want to um, put on your decals. You want to put on your spray paint. You want to put on your um, spray adhesive. You want to put on your, de uh, and then you want to pick them off and you want to get them right away. Because waiting is not going to make it easier on you. And you want to use removable, this is, I am actually using removable vinyl. If you use permanent vinyl, it's very hard to get it off because it it's, wants to stick down real hard. So that we keep, at all times, we have black or white removable vinyl in the warehouse for these pur this purposes, for doing peekaboos. All right, so this is the live mix. The, the top color is live mix number 109. The bottom color is Curtis. And then we dripped alcohol inks over the top of Curtis and then sealed it in under epoxy. And so it kind of looks like watercolor underneath, like watercolor glitter underneath for our peekaboo.
You get the ugly patterns of removable when they clearance them out. There you go. That's a good idea. This is going to be one of my favorite cups. Whoop. Did I scratch? Nope, I made it. I scratched, but I only scratched across the top of the vinyl and then it fell and then it slipped off. Nice. But you guys can see, I'm not trying to pull these off in one big bird. I'm just like pulling and then being gentle with it. And if it, if it breaks, then I just gently go in and go for the next piece. Trying to get it all at once is going to make you crazy. So I feel like peekaboos are a lot of work, but they're so pretty. They're so pretty. And there's a lot of ways to do a faux peekaboo right now with and avoid all this all fronts. But there really doesn't nothing beats it. And especially if it's gonna be a personal cup or a gift for somebody that's special, it's kind of worth the effort. Because there's just something extra that goes on here with these that make it that little extra punch of beauty. And this is one of my favorite types of peekaboos this way with the, um, with the, the blotchy underneath. So hold on, this little bird's face, a little face. Here we got one more, one more. You know what this would be really pretty with is the Be The Light um, instant transfer or the Nobody's Perfect instant transfer. It has the, the flowers on it. Instant transfers are great for these darker colored tumblers. with cats and butterfly peekaboo. Any suggestions with cats and butterfly peekaboo? Um, I'm not sure what the question is. Are you asking me? Okay, so I'm sure this is not what you're asking me, but this is what my brain thinks, that you're asking me how you would do a peekaboo if you have a cat. Like the cat gets involved in your peekaboo and is messing up your peekaboo. Um, but I'm sure that's not what that is, but that's what my brain goes. I was like, what does your cat do to your peekaboo? And I saw that. Um, you mean cats and butterflies as a peekaboo? Um, I would put, if it's a black, if you want a black cat, I would put black glitter underneath and then I would do this technique at the top. And then I would make the peekaboo, the, the cat be in the black glitter 
and then have it like and then have the butterflies up here that he's like looking up at all the butterflies and do it with like a light colored glitter of the top or spray paint top. You little kitty cat peeking at the butterflies. All right, here we go. So this is our sparrow peekaboo. Okay. Now this will get clear glossy spray paint over the top. And that's going to hold, we're going to put probably four or five coats of clear glossy spray paint over the top. The reason you want that many coats is you do not, when you epoxy, you do not want that glitter traveling into the bird section and contaminating it. Okay. In real life, these birds are a lot easier to see. I, I realize that on camera, they're not showing all the definition. Let me see if I can get this fish I can here. Oops, sorry. So there we go. In real in, in real life, you can see the little bird faces a little bit better and the wings and the little details in the wings. And under epoxy. And under epoxy, those details are gonna get even like magnified even more. So you're gonna really see the, the details of the little birdie birds. Just if you ever wonder. Like, oh, will this still show when I epoxy? Everything shows and everything is magnified. So if there's like a little, it's going to really show when you're epoxy. Imagine that the epoxy is a magnifying glass. All right, so this guy, so this, the top color is today's Live Mix 109. All right, so we're going to put it under clear glossy spray paint. Okay, this. This is the first tumbler we did. We're starting a witch's cauldron on this. It's going to be a witch's brew. Okay. And we ombre it with Kingston. This ombre is an intentionally um, not even. We wanted it like this. I wanted to kind of like, like something was pouring out over the cauldron. We're going to be doing a drip over the top. So I wanted a kind of more sporadic ombre for this. So we did not use an ombre glitter shaker. We just did a tap, tap, tap. Okay, and so that's Kingston and Live Mix 109. Those are well, Kingston's part of our open stock. Live Mix 109 is today's Live Mix, so when it sells out, it's gone for good. This goes on my side, he said. Um, the freebie for today is um, the Witch's Brew Water Slide is available for free if you buy five of today's Live Mixes. The Witch's Brew Instant Transfer is also available for sale, as well as the Witch's Brew um, Sublimation Print and Water Slide Print. You can also buy it if you don't want to buy five live mixes, but you want the Witch's Brew decal, you can just purchase it on the side. Uh, but there is a listing for it to be free if you add five of today's live mixes. I have blue spray paint everywhere because that spray paint was not dry. And I was getting little bits of it everywhere clean all my tools that's your favorite peekaboo that i've done everyone's other favorite is my fairy one that i did and it was the same technique with the alcohol ink behind it and then i did the fairies with the butterflies and i did white opalescent white over the top and then pulled them that's this this um alcohol ink technique behind is one of the prettiest peekaboos ever I think I mailed that to, that tumbler to Kim. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so the website is iwantglitter.com. You're going to click on today's deals. That's where you're going to see the live mix number 109. Let's see. Tell you guys where we're at. Nope, it's still not updating. It's weird. The system's not, my system's not updating. It does this every once in a while where the system just is like, eh, and I can't refresh the numbers. So I don't know where we're at sales-wise. Like, you might, I can tell you, like, oh, there's 74 left, but it's, it's, it hasn't updated in, like, an hour. And I know that you guys, I know you guys. Yeah, and somebody just placed an order two minutes ago, and it's not updated. So, yeah. My system has just frozen.
All right. Also, if you have never seen me do my spray paint, I have a full spray paint booth over there. Don't spray paint in your house. Don't do it. I am set up to do it in here. With It's got like a shower curtain across the front so the spray paint can't come out. It still does a little bit. It's all over the floor. Um, and then I have my ventilation system going right next to it. And I have ventilation fans and all that jazz. But if you do it inside, you will ruin your house. You will ruin the floor. It's just like common knowledge in the world around me that any room that I have my workspace in is destroyed when I'm done with it. Can you use chunky glitter on double adhesive? Yes, you can, Karen. But you don't want to burnish it. You want to you want to pour it on. And then, so you want to pour, you want to take your, if you have double type adhesive, you pull up your little pieces, expose the stickiness, pour your um, chunky glitter over the top, and then take a piece of parchment paper over the top and place it on top and flatten it out like this and press it down. And that way it's going to press the chunky pieces on and flat onto that um, double sided adhesive tape. I use a brayer roller and press it like this, and it's going to push the chunky pieces flat onto that um, double sided adhesive sheet. Yeah, this is not my house. Yeah. This is my work studio. This is not my house. We're in a, this is one of those like prefabricated little houses. Yeah, I, I, but I have done it in my, well, I did it in my garage. Well, I have done it in my house. <laughs> Not for very long. That didn't, that didn't last long. Um. All right. What time is it, guys? Oh my gosh, 440. All right, y'all. Um, it was fun. Um, oh, let me show you guys what else is on if you missed it. There is a coaster set. It comes with four butterflies and then the coaster mold to hold all the coasters. It makes a little holder for your four little butterflies. There is the geode to make the rock geodes. There are the little mini mixing cups. Okay, these are the little silicone reusable mixing cups. The little mini cactuses. And these make little magnets, cactus magnets, or whatever you want, obviously. It can be little 3D elements on your little tumbler. And then this is just for, they call this a makeup tray for like holding lipsticks and makeup brushes and stuff. Um, I like it to hold alcohol inks and my DIY pens and the little, these can hold like your toothpicks and your little cotton balls or whatever. And then the Witch's Brew Instant Transfer is up on the website. This is an instant transfer, by the way. We also have is a sublimation print and a water slide. Um, if you order five of today's live mixes, you can add the free water slide, the free Witches Brew water slide to your order. All right. You want to see it in the outside? Oh, let's let, oh, okay. Let's go outside. Here we go. Looks like I can take this one. Okay, we'll go outside. We're going to go outside. Hopefully we still got some good sun. I mean, it's going to be hot as blazes out there. I won't be able to see when we're outside. It is so bright and so sunny. I won't be able to see it, but I hope you guys can see it. Give me... Okay, there's the roof. Because I have to, to get you guys the best angle, I have to look right into the sun. Okay, so there's, and so I can't see. This is today's live mix. So it's got the holo, I can't see anything because it's so bright. And it's got the holographics. Okay. And then that's Kingston also on it. I hope you guys are getting a good shot of it. I hope it's sparkly for you guys because I have no idea. Okay, that's live mix number 109. And then the top green is called Kingston. Oh, I'm going to be blind when I walk back inside. I hope it was awesome. <laughs> I'm literally like looking into the sun and the camera. I like, I can't see nothing. Cause I have to kind of look at the screen to make sure I'm pointing it at you guys. But then I'm like, the screen is literally like the sun is right behind it. And I'm like, so sparkly. It's so weird. That's not updating. I mean, it's not weird. It's been doing this to me been doing this to me. Oh. Um, all right. Let's... Sunshine is out. 
All right, I'm gonna do a little rhinestoning. We got about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna work with the Sunshine Saddles. If you have not seen the Sunshine Saddles, it, um, this is Sunshine Saddles, the rhinestones, okay? This is what it looks like. If you put it on a white base, it's gonna be more pastel-y colors like this. If you put it on a black base, it does this. It's like chameleon-y, okay? It was awesome, I'm glad. Cause I couldn't see a darn thing. Oh, if I get started, I'm, this is, I'm not going to start this. Rhinestone ASMR. Yeah, I'm not going to start this because this is, it'll, it'll suck me in and I got too much to do today. <laughs> All right, so we started the Witch's Brew. Um, I'm not going to rhinestone. I'm not going to rhinestone. I'm, I'm, because that will just take my day. All right. I know I should finish the one with black handle, but then I have to find my black rhinestones and I don't know where they are. That's why I looked. I'm like, what's in this bowl? Okay, we'll do that. Um, so weird. Come on, system. I like telling you guys right before I leave where the number's at, but I don't know. Um, all right. Well, I have no idea how many live mixes are left because that system hasn't updated for about 45 minutes, um, which is weird, but it does. It's been doing that to me. Um, the website is iwantglitter.com. Don't forget to use your coupon codes. Glitter now is one of the coupon codes. L-L-R-B-O-G-O, -O, all in capital letters. All one word is the other coupon code. You can only use one coupon code at a time. L L R B O G O will give you one free glitter. Um, when you you have to buy at least two glitters, and one of them will be free with that coupon code. Um, it does not work on swag bags or sub boxes. So if you are trying to sign up for a swag bag or sub box today, um, it will not allow you to um, use the coupon code. That's in your shopping cart. So you want to order those separately. Um, happy Wednesday, y'all! Grab your live mix. I'm going to guess there's under 100 because there was 125 about 45 minutes ago, the last time I did a refresh on it. So I'm not sure how many now, uh, but there's, uh, and the number this month, this week, it's going to, it'll probably update, but it won't update a lot because I measured it and was on time. So you want story time summer, story time summer. I don't have a good story today. Oh, I do have a story. So my husband, oh my gosh. So Kevin. If you don't know about Kevin, Kevin is a little goat that was born to one of our goaty goats and the mom rejected him. She was a new mama and he was born with his little front feet curled under and she rejected him immediately. Like wouldn't even clean him off or anything. Like we had to take him out of like his little sack and clean him off. And like, and we tried to like, and we held him up so he could get colostrum and stuff, but she wanted nothing to do with him. Like I would have to hold her and, and while we got him to drink his colostrum. And so I even had to massage his legs like every 45 minutes and then bottle feed him every couple hours, like through the night and everything or no, not through the night so we bottle feed him. And, um, but we were told not to feed it. They, she's like, she's like naturally baby goats don't feed at night because they're hunkered down for safety. Um, so we don't go that night. Um, but he bonded to my husband hardcore. Now everything my husband does outside that goat is not three feet away from him at all times. I will literally look out and they will be sitting on the porch. It's 105 degrees and he'll just have Kevin and Kevin will be asleep like on his chest. Cause he's small. His dad was very small and he's going to be very small. He's staying tiny. And he, he, um, had to have his foot amputated because he got an infection in his little foot. And we, the one vet said, euthanize him. And they were in charge of the absolute fortune, for, fortune just to put him down. And they wanted $2,000 to amputate. So we took him to, I just said, well, if we're going to put him down, just find any random vet that will do it less than $450 is what they were going to charge us to put a goat down. So we don't go to that vet anymore. So the next, the other vet that we called, they're like, oh, no, we'll do it for $79. Just bring him in. We'll put him down for you. And um, so we did. And and that vet's like, well, I, 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 I will. He's like, there's nothing wrong with this goat. He just needs his little foot amputated. And he's like, if you, if let's give him, he's like, I don't have any open room on my schedule. He's like, but if we can get him to Friday to live, we're going to give him lots of pain meds and really heavy antibiotics and buy antibiotic wash for his foot and like really good pain meds for him. And if he survives till Friday, I will amputate it for $750. So I told my husband, I was mentally, we do not have money for this by the way, but I was like, I am, I was mentally prepared to find and figure out a way to pay for him to be euthanized so that you, cause my husband was like, we can, we don't have $450. I'll just do it myself. I'm like, there is no, this goat comes running when he hears you. Like if he hears Ivan's voice, he starts screaming. We call it screaming and running. Cause he's like, like, Dah! and he's like running for my husband. Like, there's no way 
I'm like, I, my husband is a very gentle soul. And I was like, he's a big meaty meatball man, meathead man, but he's also a very gentle soul. And I was like, I don't want you having the memory of having to put down this goat. Like, I don't want you to have that memory. We will find $450. So I was like, well, and then we, the next day is when we, I was like, no, call around and actually try to find someone cheaper. And so then that, I was like, well, at one point I was going to try to find $450. So we'll find $750. And I think we did a glitter, right? I actioned off a cup or something here, you guys. And you guys helped pay for the surgery or whatever. And so we got into Friday and he did great. Actually, my husband and the goat had surgery at the same day because my husband had knee surgery scheduled for that Friday. So like I literally drove to the animal hospital, dropped off Kevin at like 6 a.m., dropped off my husband at 7 a.m., went home, waited for the call, picked up my husband. We actually called the vet because uh, then at this point I'm exhausted and we're just, it's been a long day and we have the triplets and the vet's like, Oh no, no, we'll just keep him overnight. We'll keep him under observation. He did amazing. Um, so we picked him up the next day and I, I mean, right at that, you would never know that there's anything wrong with that goat. He doesn't, he sometimes puts the leg down on his stump. They only took off like this much foot. They only took off the bottom, the part that was infected and like the broken, it actually had broken and we didn't know. We're not really sure what happened. Um, I think maybe a pig bit him because he he figured out how to get into the pig's pen and he wouldn't go in the pig's pen for any other reason than Ivan was on the other side of the pig's pen and he would try to get to Ivan and that's what he would do. And so all we can think is that maybe a pig bit him, but they're not aggressive. Our pigs aren't aggressive, but we don't, we have no idea. Anyway, he just well, one day was limping and well, he's limping. So Ivan checked and then and Kevin never shows pain. He's never, he doesn't even jerk away when you play mess with it. So it's crazy. Anyway, so now he's got a little stump foot. He's got three and three quarters legs. Um, but he hops, like he just boop, boop, boop. And he runs like he, if he hears Ivan, he's on the other side of the road, on the other side of the property. And he hears Ivan, he comes running. So he does everything with my husband. Like my husband was out working with the cattle and Ivan had him in the, like a, a feed bin. And was just dragging him around because he knows that Kevin's going to run around with him. And he didn't want him out with the cattle. So he's like literally dragging him in a bucket. And Kevin's just like, mm -hmm, like with my husband. Anyway, um, so that's besides the point. Yesterday, we have three pigs and the pigs got loose. And the pigs are not friendly. They are not like tame and like pets. They're, they are meat pigs. I know that stresses some of you out. That's how I grew up. It's very normal in my life to raise and eat your animals. Um, meat comes from somewhere and we are not vegetarians. We can't, we do a lot of vegetarian meals in this house, but we are not vegetarians. Um, and so we have three meat pigs and they got loose. They actually ripped through the door, like their, their big chain link door. They're loose in the yard. And my husband, God bless his little soul. He is not a country boy. When we first moved out onto this ranch, he was out with a white, like windbreaker jacket and white, Nikes, brand new white Nikes, like with me scooping poop. My husband's also kind of like fancy. He's very metrosexual, very opposite of me. I'm so low maintenance, but it's whatever. He can do his own thing. He'd be his own person. I don't care. He can do, if he wants to spend an hour getting ready, he can spend an hour. I don't care. I'll take four minutes. <laughs> so the pigs get loose and I don't know this is happening. I'm down here with you guys. And then I get in the car and I hear him yell like, Something's up, I need help. And I'm like, I'm literally looking around because I'm like, I'm, I'm hearing impaired if you don't know this. So I hear his voice, but I'm not really sure where it's coming from. And I'm like, I must have just, he must have just been yelling at me. Like, I, I'm not, I think he said help, but I'm like, I don't know. I, I, who knows? So I drive up and we've got the gate shut because we have the horses in the front pasture. So I have to open the gate and I get out of the car and I drive. And then I'll say, I'm like, is that a pig? It's like, oh gosh. And by the way, I'm pregnant and I had to pee. So I was like, oh, he's going to have to wait. I cannot help him right now. And I see him running around the yard chasing these pigs, literally chasing these pigs. I'm like, that is not how you catch a pig that's scary. So I ran inside and I peed. And then I came out and he has lassoed one. <laughs> I don't know how he did it. And he's kind of like, he's big, strong. So he's kind of like, like trying to pull her, gets that one in the cage. She's the, actually the friendliest of the ones. So she was, she was not happy, but she was, she went, got her in there. And then I slowly, and then he's in there and he's fuddling around. Cause it's not like, we're not worried. These pigs can't go anywhere. They're just, we have, we have 50 acres, but it's completely fenced. So even if they got out of our main yard, they'll just be in another fence yard. So I'm like, I'm just going to just be chill. I know you have to stay calm and I know they're just afraid of us. So if I gently, slowly walk, they're going to just stay just a little bit away from me. I don't need to run at them. 
and I got picked up a rake, like a big long handle, and I just slowly walked, 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 and slowly moved him towards my husband. I said, back out, back out of the way, and just stand over there, and did that, and I just slowly worked him. And those dang pigs, it's, my husband's like, I had been out there for an hour, and I'm like within, I would say, I would say eight minutes of me being outside, I had them back in that pen. We just slowly, slowly, slowly. And then once they got over there, they actually pushed the gate open and went into their pen. He's like, I've been out here for an hour. He was drenched in sweat. He's like, I just took a shower and now I'm all wet, sweaty again. Yeah, they're not quite 400 pounds. They're still babies, but they are rascals, I'll tell you. So. But can you show the lightning? Yes, I can, Sue. Hi, Sue, by the way. Here's Lime Mix. We just did it outside. Should I, go, should I go outside for Sue? Let's go outside for Sue. I won't be able to see you guys for a second. We'll go back outside for Sue. It's pretty spectacular in the sun, I guess. Everyone, well, everyone's telling me it's spectacular in the sun. I don't know why I can't see. I mean, I can see if I turn back and look at it. I'm like, ooh, but I can't see what you guys see on camera. All right, here's your Lime Mix. I'm not going to look at the camera. I'm just going to look at the pretty cup. Okay. It's a combination of light purple fantasy and then dark purples and dark blues and holographics and metallics and then um, opalescent fantasy. So there is a lot going on in the sparkle because you have that fantasy flash of that neon ele like electric purple. And then you have the holographics and then you just have the high flash metallics. I don't know what you guys can. I hope you do. I have you at the right angle, even. I don't know who freaking knows. I can't see. There you go. Sue, yep, I'm getting that. <laughs> Sue, there's also a bunch of molds and stuff on the website as well. And if you order five, you can add the live mix 109 uh, freebie for free. It's a Rich's Brew water slide. So that's my story about my sweet little husband, just absolutely drenched in sweat, trying to catch the pigs. And then I was out there for like seven minutes and had them back in the cage. You're flooded from the, oh, Nikki, no. Oh, our pigs won't come to food like that. He had already tried the food. I was like, did you, do, did you try food? He's like, oh, I tried. And literally he had food down and they ran right past it. Even when they got in their pen, they didn't even go to the food. You know what they like? We have a, we, we, they love to wallow in water. So he, we filled up like their water, what we call a watering hole. We literally have their water bowl and we overflow their water bowl and they just like swallow around and lay and flop around. Yeah. All right, y'all, I'm going to go grab your live mix. Just showed it to you guys. That's what it was. Oh, this angle's real pretty. Um, oh, Mocha loves the water. I told you, Nikki, he would go swimming in our pond every day. Yeah, Mocha loves the water. It'll be like pouring rain. He'll be out there just like, no big deal. You found your pigs in your pond? Yeah, these guys would go in the pond for sure. Yeah, they, they love the water. All right, y'all, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Um, you might actually not see me because Emily was supposed to go to Vegas. I don't know if she's still planning. If she's going to go to Vegas, then I will be live. That's him for sure. Yeah, just like do 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 um, So em if Emily is going to Vegas, then I will be live tomorrow. If she's not going to Vegas, she will be live tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. But I will probably be live at some point because we have so much stuff launching tomorrow. Is it the 30th today? Yeah, we have something launching tomorrow that's pretty amazing. Um, and so I will go live and show it off. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.